Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanye family. So we're going to do some Canadian content for you today since it's Sunday. Um, I chose Triumph and the song is Rock Out, Roll On. Yeah. We do know some of Triumph's hits from the 80s, of course. Mm. I wasn't, I was a fan of Rick Emmett's ability as a guitarist, but the lyrics I always found a little cheesy. Yeah, well, we'll see. But it happens. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just being honest. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it sounds great. I mean, they can play like no tomorrow. There was a lot of cheese in the 80s. But there was a lot of cheese <laughs> in the 80s, and they were not avoiding it. So Yeah. But we're going to get into this one. We haven't heard it before, and it sounded like a lot of fun. Rock so, out, roll on. Yeah. Well, how can you be wrong with that? Exactly. So, uh, yeah. So, here it is. Rock out, roll on by Triumph. This is so good, eh? It is. It's typical Triumph sound, though. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Well, it's like Russian 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except, you know, mildly cheesier lyrics. In this case, I mean, you don't even notice. It's just they're playing so well. This is a yeah. very well-played song. This it's, is really just about touring, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of bands like to sing about how they rock out and roll on. Yeah. You know, they they do a great show and then they go to the next city you know mm -hmm. it's really great um and and that's fine you know it's a little cheesy but that's fine you know uh, journey's done a triumph uh bto a lot of them do that um but 
this is very well done. And I oh, think yeah. it's I think it's a power trio too, if I'm not sh- if I'm not mistaken. Or I don't actually, remember. I'm not even sure. I know Rick Hammond. I know the drummer, and I don't know who else is in the band to be honest. But uh, uh, you know, uh, as far as musicality, these guys are good, and you can tell that they they worship Rush. Yeah, definitely. And you know, the drumming is really really tight. The guitar work is really good. And uh, Rick Emmett sings in a high area, like yeah, Eddie I Lee. Like, I like those vocals for sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's a uh, it's it's great music. <laughs> yeah. So let's finish this up. All right. Was so good, huh? Yeah. Um, one problem, though, the way it was produced, the guitars were way under in the mix. It should they should have been far more ahead. I yeah. can barely hear the guitar solo in the uh, in the middle part after the bridge, like when they transitioned. Uh, I was expecting a big something bigger, yeah, for big, sure. Bold guitar solo. It was there, but it was so underneath the mix and nobody brought it up in, in the mix. That's an engineering issue for sure. Yeah. You know, production should have been on that. Like bring the really cool guitars in the front. Yeah. No kidding. You know, but this was really well played and it was a really cool song for sure. Yeah. Uh, and this, like I'd love to see this live. I mean, we probably should have watched the live thing. We would have got a much better guitar. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And the drums were just crazy. So yeah, this was really well done, and I enjoyed it very much. I know you did. Mostly, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Don't forget to check us out over on our Patreon page. Also, we have our GoFundMe set up. If you're able to help us out in that way, we would be greatly appreciative. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And we'll see you next time. Later. Later. <laughs>